Hello guys, sorry for not making videos, but here I am. This video is going to be a detailed look into how to like stall. So I'm going to make a alpha console beta video and maybe a flip reset video also. So look forward to see those and alpha console beta is a sneak peek of that is why I have alpha boost, the wheels and the, the colored ball. So that's really cool. So I know tutorials can be a bit annoying, but I'm also gonna, so that's why I'm gonna like add timestamps. So uh, just in case you wanna skip, so yeah, that's fun. Okay, first you're gonna have to have a couple of key binds. Um, you're gonna need to bind two keys or one, depending on how you wanna do this. You're gonna wanna bind arrow right to a key and arrow left to a key. You can see my arrow right is circle and my arrow left is square. Now that that's done, we can get into the actual tutorial. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna push your stick to the opposite side of your arrow button. So if you're using arrow right, you're gonna wanna move your stick to the left. And if you're in vice versa. So if I was gonna use the right, I would wanna be arrowing that way with my button. Okay, for the sake of this tutorial though, I'm gonna be using arrow right, and if I say something, I'm referring to using arrow right. Okay, so for practice, you're gonna, I'm gonna want you to do something to understand the concept just a bit better. I'm gonna want you to hold your stick left and then press the arrow button, arrow right, and then jump really quickly or at the same time. So, this way you don't have the time when to turn or when to use your stick. So once you do that, you can uh, flip. But you see how I keep um, messing up, like flipping frontwards or backwards? Uh, that's because <laughs> there's a really tricky uh, obstacle here. So the biggest problem with using a controller for your inputs is it's hard to perfectly push your stick to one direction. So even though I'm pushing my stick left, it's not a perfect left. It's still uh, different on the vertical axis. So your stick really has to be under a 0 0.09 difference on your left axis. And I'll link a website that uses your, uh, it can tell where all your inputs are. All right, guys, I know this is a sort of like a weird cut here, but I wanted to add this just to show you um, a bit better what this website's like. Um, so you get to see all of the axis and all the different controls. So each button I press, you can see how it changes something on here. You see, um, so you see these top zero through three on the axis. Uh, axes <laughs> so these um are how like where your position is on your stick so you see my stick moving and see how it changes these values okay so when i move it all the way to the left you see it's 100 on here but it's not and you see how it's uh see this is like right where you would want it because that's the value that i'm talking about the difference right here so if i move it down but to the left and up but to the left you see how it offsets this because it's still right here it's still um it's still not like up or down here if that makes any sense it's super hard for me to explain because i'm bad at explaining stuff and i'm a horrible teacher but look at what i'm doing still um yeah so basically what you're gonna want is you're gonna want this this value to be as low as possible like this so you see how my stick is still is fairly to the left perfectly and if i move it down a bit more i lowered it and see right now i'm just looking at my controller overlay and seeing if i can make it like perfect that's about as perfect as you can get for the most part but you see that's pretty well and if i were to do that then it would um 100 stall so yeah, that's what that's like. Um, and that's the reason why you don't stall and versus why you do stall. And the same problem will sort of happen when I have my um, flip reset video, but I'll go over that when I make that video. Um, 
So anyways, back to the rest of that tutorial, wherever I put this. Yeah, that's the problem. You have to perfectly place your stick left or right, which is super hard. So one thing that I've been using to see if I'm getting the arrow right and then jump right after each other or at the same time correctly is using a keyboard. So if I use a keyboard and press left on a keyboard, that means I can uh, have a perfect direction. Perfect direction. So... If I jump and then do it, you see how I stalled first try? I can do it like 10 times out of 10 if I uh, if I use a keyboard. So first, take out a keyboard or something else and use that to see if you can do the flip part correctly. So then what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to practice getting your stick to the perfect position and the feeling of it. And uh, the best way I can tell you to do that is just using this website and seeing like where your stick is and like how far it needs to be. So that's basically what you're going to have to do. So now you basically uh, know how to stall. Um, Another thing that you can use to adjust if you need to push your stick to the left, but like down or uh, up a bit more is which way you flip. So if I flip forward, that means I need to bring my stick back. But if I flip backwards, that means I need to bring my stick up a bit. So I went forward, that means I need to bring my stick uh, back a bit. See there, I don't know. <laughs> That's uh, up too much. I think I missed the timing there. There you go. You see how I did it? So I just used if uh, my stick was too front or too back and then used it there. So to time it so you're not just doing the little helicopter uh, stall is you just want to quickly bring your stick to the left and then press uh, the other two buttons at the same time. And so then you've basically got stalling done. Uh, I hope this tutorial helped. I wanted to make like a more detailed tutorial and uh, just explain why you might be messing up stalls and uh, how to do them because I was really confused on how they work and how I was messing them up. Hopefully you could look at my controller overlay in the bottom corner too just to see, uh, you know, I know that might help. So. Thank you for watching. Um, I'll probably have my alpha console video next, but I might do the flip reset video next. Who knows? <laughs> so thank you guys for watching.